just wanted to yeah. say that we have some questions from Checkmate, as Dorit mentioned. You too can ask questions live. Go to the CPX360 app, select from the side menu social stream, and select add post. Phone boy and Valerie will send it to me here live, and we will probably have time for like three or four questions. Um, OK, so Dorit, you from UK asked, what do you consider to be the biggest differentiators in Checkpoint products? So for this question, I'll introduce Itai Greenberg, who manages the product management, product marketing, and many other activities. So Itai. Thank you. Um, so for me, there are three things, I would say. Uh, the first thing is uh, our ability to provide a very accurate prevention. And we're doing it with Red Cloud. We talk about the fact that we collect billions of logs and billions of IOCs from, IO, uh, from network, from mobile, um, from endpoint. And this is what gives us, with all the uh, AI engine that we have there, the ability to provide a very good threat prevention. I would say that's number one. Number two, it will be the fact that we secure an infinity architecture for those customers that actually use Checkpoint to secure their network, cloud, endpoint, and mobile we dramatically reduce the operation cost. And number three is I'm looking on the last three years, and we see an amazing success that we have in the cloud. Over 4,000 enterprise customers today use Checkpoint to secure their Azure, their AWS account. And now that we acquired DOM9, we are definitely a leader in this space. So, so those are the three things. Thank you. Thank you. Next question comes from Italy by Ricardo. Enabling automation has been a huge focus over the last few years. Any plans for Checkpoint to develop an orchestration engine? So this is a perfect question for Amnon Perlmutter. Amnon Perlmutter heads our uh, cloud services and our management products. With them, all the APIs and automation. Go ahead. Thanks. So automation and uh, orchestration are indeed a game changer for our customers. They're increase speed, speed of operation, while reduce costs and error. So what, we are do so what are we doing in those areas? First, we are integrating with the leading vendors. Uh, like what we actually do is uh, we develop tools and apps that are later uh, published as open source. One example is the Splunk, uh, new Splunk application that has a very nice cyber views. And we are now uh, working uh, we, on enhancing the integration with uh, Terraform and Ansible. Second is uh, beyond uh, working on vendor integration, uh, the vendor integration is actually part of our openness strategy. We want our products to easily integrate into customer environments. So we keep here developing and enhancing our APIs. We recently released uh, Gaia APIs that are APIs on the uh, operating system uh, level. You can set uh, different configurations on the operating system. We re released IOC APIs that are APIs for threat indicators. And we are working on uh, APIs for the CDT, the uh, deployment tool, central deployment tool to streamline deployment. Last is the area uh, of uh, smart tasks that uh, we'll talk about it in the future. You can view it as a simplified or light uh, orchestration tool to set uh, triggers and automatic reactions inside the management. Thanks. OK, next Thank question is from Ireland by Lily. Lily, optimizing security and threat prevention policies has been a challenge for some customers. Is Checkpoint adding technologies to make this easier? That's a perfect question for Nitsan. Nitsan Ziv heads all our threat prevention. Great stories. Go ahead. Managing security is very complex. The guys that we're dealing with on the other side, they do a lot. They move fast. In order to do that, we need to adjust our systems to be exactly the same. They need to move fast. In order to do that, we're going to utilize over the coming year more and more wisdom from the cloud to tweak the policy and change the configuration as we go along so we'll be able to adjust to new threats. So as we do that, we'll be able to react faster, more than fast than, or faster than any human to uh, any kind of new uh, threat that we'll see. So if you see a dot .contact file or dot .screensaver file or any other kind of threat, we'll be able to react to it before anybody else sees it in the industry. OK, thank you. <laughs> Next question is from Valerie from Switzerland. When is Checkpoint planning to integrate Dome 9 with the rest of CloudGuard offering? 
So my pleasure to introduce Zohar Alon, founder of uh, Dom9, to answer this question. Great question. So first of all, integration is already happening. We've already integrated the checkpoint object awareness into the Dome 9 object storage, so we can identify CloudGuard YAS objects and show them to you in the network topology map, in the network visualization, and also in our Magellan solution. Uh, we, we are planning to in invest a lot in integration over the coming uh, few months, adding also awareness on the other end where the Cloud Guard controller will be able to uh, understand that this is an, an, an environment that is protected by Dome 9 and augment some of the things. And probably the, 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 ultimate, uh, the ultimate goal is to have also support for the entire stack and the full awareness with our compliance engine as well, essentially completing the story end to end with compliance from the gateway and from the cloud. Thank you. Thank you. Mikali is from Greece. Asked, new acceleration cards promising improved throughput, particularly with SSL inspection, have been discussed for some time now. When will they be available, for God's sake? Gerard Dorfman is heading all our network security, and among them, all the gateways and accelerator cards. So AC cards are on the final EA stages, running at uh, many customers right now. We're going to silently launch them in upcoming weeks and then adjust accordingly, and we'll do the massive deployment in the upcoming months. OK. Amit from Israel asks, some of Checkpoint competitors develop other security-specific hardware beyond traditional gateways. Does Checkpoint plan to do this? Again, a question for Gera. So you just asked about AC cards, first of all, providing performance boost without compromising on security. but. First of all, we checkpoint software, but I think that it doesn't really matter that it's software or hardware as long as we provide best security. Uh, with the move to the cloud, it becomes especially interesting with any technology that we will use. We want to leverage it well on premises or in the cloud. That's being said, we always evaluate new technologies and look at different hardware technologies. <coughs> as long as we provide best security, that's what we're going to do. Okay. Thank you very much. Dirk from Germany asks, what is Checkpoint offering around DNS security? So I'll uh, again give this question to Nitsan because he has great threat prevention capabilities. Well, so first of all, for the past few good years, we've been investing a lot in this kind of technology. Technologies like we work behind the scene, like domain guessing algorithms that can predict where the next domain names that malware writers will use will actually be registered. So we enter all of these technologies into our threat cloud, and once they actually write the next domain, we know how to prevent them from actually accessing it. So all of our technologies already have this incorporated for the past few years, but we took it even further. We took it this year, or the past years to do DNS tunneling protection, DNS protection from teardrop and other algorithms that are used to abuse the DNS itself and, and split the internet. So all of those kinds of technologies are already integrated into our next generation threat prevention appliances and technologies. So in a sense, if I have a subscription of IPS and antibot, it's already included? Exactly, for the past years. OK, so you don't need to add 20% of the hardware cost like uh, they're doing it. Yeah, OK. Uh, Emily from UK, what other technologies is Checkpoint looking at integrating to fight data pre breaches in the cloud? Very good question. So I'm introducing Al Feingold, who manages all CloudGuard DOM9 R&D capabilities. Thanks. Uh, there are several things we're doing. Uh, I'll focus and also be aware, as Dorit said, I'm obligating for it. Uh, we want to take the logs. We want to take the audit logs and the uh, activity logs, the flow logs into our platform. And then we want to apply uh, not just visibility, but also ability to do alerting, machine learning, and anomaly detection on top of those. Uh, so this is one major focus for us, um, but there are also other things. Serverless is one of a, a top uh, issue. And we don't, today, we already look into the configuration of our serverless and the flow logs, but we also want to look into the functions themselves, and together we're working on uh, looking into the Azure or Lambda functions themselves. Okay. Now, I hope I pronounce it right. Deplotroski asks, uh, this is live from you now, uh, we'll take like three more mm -hmm. questions. Uh, please explain us your view related to 5G. 5G. OK, do you want to talk about 5G for a second? Gera. Yeah, I think 5G is about more performance. We already have great LTE capabilities right now. 5G is about providing more performance, have 
especially with AC cards and the Maestro, which we can scale up. And 5G is about, again, providing more performance. And this is something that will generally fit this. The other elements are elements that are already included in the portfolio. Julianne Braun asked, is there a plan in the current roadmap to have R80 release available on SMB gateways? Yes, I'll answer this. OK. <laughs> Amnon, I'll tell you. Yes, we're actually working these days on a project to align the SMB uh, software from R77.30 to R80.x uh, version. It's expected to be released uh, this year. One from Florian Garchet. How will TLS 1.3 usage change the way content inspection on Gateway uh, will, uh, will work? Are you expecting massive limitation as TLS 1.3 brings better protection against man-in-the-middle attacks? No, there, there is not going to be any limitation. We are working on TLS 1.3 right now, and it's going to be the same as it works right now. And last one by uh, Reinhard that I hope the, it will have a positive response. Do we plan to extend support for R77.30? We already extended, right? So how Woo! further you want? <laughs> thank you very much. I want to thank my great team here and hope you will all execute on our joint promises. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. And I'll see you later in the evening. <laughs>